Today we're taking a look at the SE914 XT Basic from ID Coolant. Full disclosure, this was sent to me by ID Coolant free of charge, but I was not paid for this review and all following opinions on this cooler are all my own. The SC914 XT Basic is a 92mm single tower air cooler. The SC914 Basic is the non-ARGB version of this cooler. Now the ARGB version, the SC914 XT ARGB, is designed exactly like its larger counterpart, just at a smaller scale. The cooler measures 103.7 by 86.6 by 126mm. It has four 6mm thick nickel plated heat pipes and an aluminum fin stack. It's fitted for both Intel and AMD board mounting with a thermal design power of 150 watts, otherwise known as TDP. Like the SC234, the fin stack is also offset, avoiding any RAM clearance issues on most boards, even with the included 25mm thick fan. The included fan is a 92mm PWM brushless fan with a rated fan speed of 2200 RPM. In the box, you get the cooler, mounting hardware, instruction manual, and the ID cooling badge. Now, it's a small thing, but I really appreciate brands that include this badge with the product. Makes me feel a part of something. I ran thermal tests on an open test bench with an ambient room temperature of 21 degrees Celsius. In a 30 minute OCCT stress test with medium packets, the SC914 maintains 68.1 degrees Celsius. Rendering the classroom seen in Blender over 11 minutes, the cooler averaged 69.6 degrees Celsius. I also replaced the standard 25mm fan with a slim 14mm fan just for fun to see how it affected thermals. With the slim 92mm fan and OCT with the same parameters, the CPU averaged 69.4 degrees Celsius. In the Blender classroom scene, I saw an average temperature of 71.3 degrees Celsius. The SC914 XT Basic, I've only found it listed on Amazon and is listed for $21.24 at the time of filming. The price. At $21.24, this cooler's price to performance is ridiculously good. Another pro is the size. The size is perfect for air-cooled ITX systems that still want to show off any surrounding hardware without blocking any sight lines. Another pro, good thermals. In the test that I ran for a smaller air cooler, this kept my Ryzen 3600 very cool. I'm sure the ambient temperatures helped a bit, but still, performance is performance. The last pro is the offset fin stack. Uh, just like the SC234, the offset fin stack allows for 25mm fan installation without RAM clearance issues. Now, cons. The first con that I have, there are no slim fan mount options. Uh, the included 92mm fan is 25mm thick, so it makes sense that it includes fan mounts that fit that thickness, but I would have loved to see fan mounts for slim fans that didn't require any mods. I don't know if ID Coolant sells any slim fans, but if they did, that would be dope. Another con, I had some design flaws on my particular sample. Uh, some of the heat pipes were deformed. Now it's not a huge deal on $20 coolers, and it may be a one-off issue, but manufacturing defects are not a great look on any purchase, regardless of price. Should you buy this? For $20, this cooler is a steal. I mean, I would stick to CPUs with a TDP of under 65 watts, but if you're spending 90 plus TDP money on CPUs, you're probably not looking for a $20 92 millimeter air cooler anyway. But for the rest of us who are building less demanding systems, this cooler is a great way to escape stock coolers while not bursting too far over budget and keeping a stylish aesthetic. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, or even subscribing to my channel. I got a lot more reviews and a lot more builds coming. So um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.